happy Sunday. Um, it is ooh, about 10 20 in the morning um, and it is really cold out here um, on the central coast. It's about 55 degrees today in the middle of summer. It feels like fall. I've got my my fall <laughs> shirt sweatshirt on um, and I'm still cold and I have like leggings and um, it's cold it's cold but being outside is something that I really want to incorporate into um, my movement because every time I go outside especially in the mornings I feel amazing and the reason I don't do it as often as I want to is like because it's so frustrating like they're always doing something, um, always asking questions. When we go on walk, somebody like halfway through has a fit. Um, I brought the wrong dog today with me. So she's like laying down every like couple minutes and it's just very frustrating. And I'm not like living in the moment. I'm like trying to be productive when I'm outside. And that's something that I'm trying to not do is like make everything that I enjoy be productive and um so it's gonna be a challenge and i'm going to try not to get annoyed like i can hear my dog my other dog barking from our house because we're like right across the street but we have like all of these amazing resources where i live um on the central coast there's trails everywhere there's so much outdoor it's the middle of summer and it's like 55 degrees like that's amazing and I know when I first moved here I was outside all the time because I felt so lucky and we've lived here for about four years now and I've started to kind of just take it for granted and that's something that I don't want to do with anything I took my body for granted I took my business for granted I took a lot of things for granted and um, just trying to be grateful um, and have gratitude is something that I really, 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 really want to work on and being in the moment. So I'm going to turn off my technology, turn off my phone, put this away. And then when I get back home, I'm going to show you how, um, we're going to fit all this in, how I'm going to plan it out. So see you at home. Okay. So as promised, I told you that I was going to show you how I'm going to plan out how this next 30 days is going to go. I personally am someone who needs paper. I can do the digital thing, but it has to be like with a pen. And um, I was doing really good on my iPad and then my kids have kind of taken it over. Before we get started, drink some water. <clears throat> yeah, you too. Grab some water, I'll wait. All right, you ready? Chug contest, let's go. <sighs> okay, now let's get started. So what I did on Canva and pick got a plain calendar this one is specifically for july because i like to know monday tuesday wednesday thursday but if you just go in and type like 30 day challenge or something like that you'll get like a 30 day like day one day two day three day four me personally though i need days of the week and i need to know what day it is so like for example today's the ninth i need to know that like on the ninth i'm doing this um so i just have it's just the calendar i don't know if you can see it quite clearly and then i just have my goals like a section to write some goals and then some reminders so i'm gonna go over how i'm gonna do that so some things that i'm really wanting to make apparent or really focus on is that these things are doable um, I can easily put, you know, five different workouts on each day. That's not going to happen. I'm going to miss a workout, feel like a failure, and then I'm not going to go back to it. And we're going to be in the same position I was two days ago where I'm feeling um, burnt out, overwhelmed, and I'm not happy with my progress. So, or lack of progress, I guess. 
So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to write down the things that I want to do. For example, I want to have at least one kickboxing workout a week. I want to have at least two jujitsu workouts a week. I want to have one Peloton. I want to make sure that I'm getting outside. I want to make sure that I'm getting in the gym. So I'm going to go ahead and write down these goals so that I can see them laid out. Now that I've written out what I want to do, I'm going to look at the calendar and know, like for example, Wednesday evenings, I know that, that I have that time planned out for jujitsu. So every Wednesday, I'm going to go ahead and put in my jujitsu workout. And I know that every, uh, now it's Thursday. Now every Thursday morning, there's gonna be space in a class that I teach. So I'm gonna go ahead and write in cardio, or I'm sorry, kickboxing workout on Thursday. I have everything written out here. And when you see everything written out like this, it's not that much. Like, it's really not that much and it's only 30 days so if you are like me and you need something that's like short term um to like keep going rather than think like oh it's been 30 days i have you know 90 more days left before like it seems like such a long time but if you do it in smaller increments plus your goals might change after 30 days so um it look it's it's really not that much like look how much blank space is on here it's basically if you want to do something it's super simple like it doesn't take much on my reminders i'm just going to write some personal things that i didn't want um, to be public um just ways that i want to feel just some reminders like why i'm doing this um some mindset things um and yeah, I think the next video is going to be all about mindset and kind of a little bit my background on my mental health, um, food, my relationship with food, uh, therapy, things like that, because this really all ties in. It ties into how I got where I am now, um, and it's really going to have me push through <laughs> um the rest of this first 30 days so um i'm about to get my workout in and yeah let me know if you are a writer or if you need something on digital anyway if you made it this far thank you for being here don't forget to subscribe as you watch this channel grow because i'm really excited to see um what this brings